welcome to the 9th and 10th channel of Byju's and I am your teacher Ankita. In today's class we'll be discussing about a very important topic and the name of the topic is excretion in plants. It's a really very important topic. But before we talk about this interesting topic, let me tell you something really very important. We have Byju's mini learning program which is now free if you use the code YTFREE. In these classes we'll have two teachers, we have personal mentors, you have interactive classes and along with that you will have quizzes and the test and most importantly you can pick the timing of the classes according to your schedule. So what are you waiting for? Use the code YTFREE and the offer is there only for the limited time. So check the link out which is there in the description box below and try the code YTFREE. Moving ahead and talking over the telegram we have a very amazing group where we put out the revision questions, uh, session updates, session notes. So link of the telegram uh, of the telegram group is in the description box below. So join the group today. Now that we have talked about all the important points, let's start with a session. So we know that in humans we have the excretory system, right? But what about the plants? I'm sure the plant will be thinking that okay, if humans can uh, you know humans have their well circulatory system. They can release out the waste by using that system. But how we can get rid of the waste? So in today's class, we'll be discussing that how actually plants excrete their waste. Now over here we have the different topics, right? And of course, these are the different modes by which the plants excrete out their waste. We'll be discussing about each one of them and let's get started. The first one that we have over here is the release of the excess salt. So of course, in the plants we have excess salt and they will be releasing the excess salt with the, with the help of the root and the root here. This is really very important. Then let's talk about the another way which is the diffusion of the gases. So of course in plants we will see the exchange of the gases. Now when we talk about the process of photosynthesis, plants intake, right? They, they take up the carbon dioxide and they release the oxygen. In the case of photosynthesis, oxygen is a waste product. Whereas in the case of respiration, plants take up the oxygen and release the carbon dioxide. Over here, carbon dioxide is a waste. So, we will see the excretion of the different gases, right? With the help of a process which is the diffusion. Moving ahead to the next type. So, we have release of excess salt, diffusion of gases and now we will be discussing about the loss of water. So, from the surface of the leaf, we'll see the loss of water happening and of course, we have the process which is called as transpiration. Transpiration is nothing but the process where we'll see the loss of water in a form of water vapor from the aerial parts of a plant. So, the excess water which is there, which will be getting lost by the process of transpiration. Apart from this, transpiration plays a very important role in pulling up the water from the roots to the top part. It's a very, very important process. Moving to the next type, but before that, we have a very interesting fact for you. Now, we know that transpiration is really very important, but apart from that, we know that we have another process which is the guttation. So, in guttation process, what we'll see, we will see that on the leaf margin, we'll have these water droplets, right? We'll be able to see in different plants. Over here, over here we have just one small example for that. Now, of course, we'll see the elimination of the water through the leaf margin, right? And of course, over here we have these which is called as the hydrothons. So they play a very important role. Now from these pores, we will see the excess water will be moving out. So apart from transpiration, right, which is the one method, we have another method that is the guttation. Of course, this also plays a very important role in removal of the excess water. So over here till now, we have discussed about release of excess salt, diffusion of gases, loss of water and now we'll be discussing about the release of raisins and the gums. Now this is a common uh, excretion in plants that we usually see around. So definitely I'm sure you must have seen like this right and this is also one way in which plants excrete out their waste. Write in the comment section below and tell us which plants actually excrete the raisins and the gums. Moving ahead we have a very interesting fact about something which is related to that. 
So plants actually have alkaloids, which are the toxic waste, right? And which are excreted by the certain parts of the plant, right? And of course, these are used to make various medicines and other in various aspects. Over here, we have two examples of it. We have chinkona, right? From there, we'll get the quinine, which is used, right, in the, the treatment of the malaria. We have coffee seeds, and of course, from there, we'll get the caffeine. So we know that plants have various toxic materials, but they are not useful for them. They will be excreting it out, but uh, now they're really very good for uh, humans. And of course, we'll, we, we'll be using them in a different uh, aspects of our life. So that's a very important point for all of us to remember. Moving ahead to the next type that we have is the shedding of the plant parts. Now, this is the, one of the common thing we usually see in the plants, right? We'll be seeing the shedding of the different plant parts, right? We'll see the uh, shedding of the leaves, right? Which is really very common. The shedding of the bark and of course shedding of the fruits. So this, these all, when we see a tree or a plant shedding its part, it's, it's also a type of excretion that is happening in plants. Related to that, we have a very interesting fact. I'm sure that all of you have tasted, or I'm sure all of you are aware about the cinnamon, right? Which is a very common spice at our homes. This, of course, is an excretory product, right? Now, of course, on the bark of a tree, right, we have it, and this is the waste which is to the plants, but is really very important for us. So we here, we have a very interesting fact. I hope that you will uh, note this down. And let's quickly move ahead to the summary. So we know that we have different modes of the methods that of course plants use to excrete out the waste material which is produced in its body. We will see the removal of the salts, diffusion of the gases, uh, formation of the raisins at the gums, loss of water, sharing of the plant's parts. So all of these uh, is a method we can say of different modes that is used by the plants to excrete out the waste. With this, we are done with this today's important topic. Moving back to the this, do try the uh, Baiju's mini learning program, right? They are really, really very interesting classes. Use the code YT3 uh, to avail it. And I'm sure that all of you believe and I'm I know that you love learning with us. And we always say we have got you covered. Don't forget to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you have enjoyed today's class and I hope that you have got all the important concepts that we have discussed. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till that time, take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus.